Looks like another rainy day in Alabama. What should I do today? Maybe I'll film a video. Hello everybody. I thought on this rainy stay at home day, I would film a video. I am trying to do two videos per week. Now I can't promise that every week I will deliver, but I'm going to do my best. I'm no Jill Maurer. I have no idea how she filmed a video every day for a year. My hat is off to you, Jill. And I will link her channel below. And also, I just want to say that I have a few things going on this year that I want to do some more reviews, more uh, what drew me to YouTube in the first place type of videos. When I first started watching YouTube, of course, I was searching for something, whether it be skincare or normally a bag that I was interested in. So for today's video, I'm going to do a request video and I have had several requests to do a wear and tear and quick review on my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size in Epi leather. I have my gorgeous tag on here that Autumn Beckman got me for Christmas. I love it so much and I plan to keep it on this bag. I think it is just perfection. I'm going to get it hot stamped, hopefully in hot pink. I've had this bag for a couple years. Actually, I've had this bag about four years and this was on my wish list one Christmas and I just absolutely fell in love with the hot pink interior and I'm not really a hot pink girl I mean I love it but I love little splashes of it so I thought this was gorgeous I love the way the straps have the hot pink glazing here on the side and it just it's just this is a forever bag I absolutely love it this bag with use gets better and better and this is a bag that I would not mind having another one sometime in another color but this is the straps you know I've had people ask me what about the straps isn't it really stiff well it is a stiffer bag but that's what I like about it as you use it it begins to get softer and as you can see look at these straps they're still standing up after almost four years I've used this just well yeah four years I've used this consistently the straps are still pretty stiff but it is softening up quite a bit now it does come with a pouch I forgot to bring it down here which I love those pouches a lot of people say they don't use them they don't like them but I love them because I use them for receipts I throw money in them sometimes if I'm running into the store I'll just grab the pouch and run into the store so I find them very useful of course this bag is just a bottomless pit I put this Samorca organizer inside of it there's some kind of paperwork in there. But anyway, without the organizer, it is just a big bottomless pit. And when I first got it, I was like, why did they not even put a, you know, a big pocket on the back? But I ordered the Samorga organizer in hot pink to go with it. And that was a game changer. And I absolutely have used this so much more since getting this organizer. And if you guys are in search of a really good organizer, I have a 20% off code for Samorga, just Yota style, and you'll get 20% off your purchase. But I just want to say this bag is getting better and better. There are absolutely no signs of wear and tear on this bag. The corners, and I am careful, you know, I try not to brush up against brick walls and things like that, but look at the corners. This bag is immaculate. It will be like this for many years to come. Like I said, the straps are just still sitting straight up. So I love this bag. I've used it out in the rain. Epi leather is absolutely a fabulous leather and I love it. So yeah, maybe sometime I'll get another one. I'm definitely gonna get my initials hot stamped. I'm going to link Autumn Beckman's channel below. This was a very generous gift that she gave me for Christmas and I think it is perfect with the silver hardware. And she added this clip and it just, it's beautiful. So this is just a wonderful bag. And if you're thinking of getting a Neverfull and Epi leather, do not hesitate because you'll love it. It will stay looking brand new for many years if not forever. I love it. I just think it gets better and better with time. And by the way, yes, I am in my jammies. 
it's just a stay at home day and I didn't want my husband to come home and find me looking like I normally look covered in paint with my hair up on top of my head. So I did take the time to fix my hair and I thought, I think I'll film a video today. So yes, I am on my jammies and these are, I, uh, I think I featured these jammies in one of my try on hauls and I got these, I think at TJ Maxx, I can't remember, but they're really comfortable and cozy and I love being home all day in my jammies. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. My next bag is my medium size YSL Lulu bag. <sighs> you guys, every time I pick it up, I just want to hug it. I just it just makes me want to lay down and take a nap with it because it's like a big puffy pillow. This is my second favorite bag of my collection. My first favorite is my Chanel reissue and this is number two. And I want another YSL bag. I was thinking about the college bag. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I really like it. I think it's really cute but it's not quite as luxurious as this one, in my opinion. This is the most luxurious bag. This leather is fabulous. The only thing, of course you guys know I like a pocket. If it had a pocket on the back, then it would be like 10 plus. I still would give this bag a 9.99. <laughs> I love it so much. I love this beautiful hardware. It's very edgy looking. It is just a beautiful bag. The magnetic closure is really, really strong. I've got it stuffed here, but I love the compartments. And I just want to say that this leather is very durable. It's very soft. It's very supple and it's very durable. And that was one of the questions that I had uh, from one of my subscribers. She asked me, did I think this leather would scratch easily? And you guys, I mean, this bag, I've carried this bag a lot, and it still looks just as fabulous as it did when I took it out of the box. So, yeah, it doesn't have any feet. Feet are always a bonus, but it's just so fabulous that I'm not even going to detect points. <laughs> I just love this bag so much. I mean, I would love to have a second bag just like it. So I don't know if I will ever get another bag like it in another color, but it does come in some really pretty colors. It's a very, very durable bag. You can put a ton of stuff in this bag. I just, I have used it like crazy. It's my number two favorite bag of my collection. And you know, you guys, I told you I want to grow my Chanel collection. Well, I do, but I'm mad at Chanel. I mean, come on, why do they have price increases every year or twice a year. I mean, it's ridiculous. The Chanel bags are, I think they're trying to be up there with Hermes and that's never going to happen because Chanel bags are mass produced. I don't know. You could get like three of these bags <laughs> for one Chanel bag. I don't know. I just don't have the desire that I once had for Chanel bags because I really don't think it gets much better than this bag right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the price is pretty reasonable. This bag, I don't think it's even $2,000. I think it's, um, I don't know the exact price. I should have checked on that, but I don't think it's $2,000. The college bag is about $500 more. And I don't understand why, because this one in my book is so luxurious and it's just top of the line. So yeah, you could have three of these for one Chanel bag, but um, yeah, love it love it love it so the the leather the main thing is it's very very durable all right the next bag that i have had a request and i've had questions about this bag several times if it would be a good laptop bag <laughs> or ipad bag i think yeah you can fit an ipad in this bag as a matter of fact i think i'll turn the camera off run and get mine and show you but I don't recommend it for that purpose, and I'll tell you why. All right, so I've had this bag about two years, and I've used it like crazy, and for some reason, I've had the same question about would it be good to use to put a small computer or a laptop in there, and now I did buy a Samorga insert because the inside is quite 
light so that protects it but I mean here's my iPad and it's not in a case because I just got this iPad this week but I mean yeah you can easily put it in here of course you can put an iPad in there see even if it were in a case, I ordered a case for it, so it hasn't come yet, but you can put it in there. Well, if it's empty like that, it's not too heavy. But I would not use it for that purpose because this leather is very, very soft. Other than protecting the inside of this bag, I put the organizer in there to also protect the shape because it is very soft. See how soft it is? This is the large size, and I have heard people say that it loses its shape, and I feel like it has puffed out a little here on the side. Now, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I keep it stuffed. I have the stuffing here that I just pulled out of it, and I keep the organizer in it at all times, but I don't really see the reason to put extra stress on such a soft bag. So, I would not use it as a laptop carrier. I mean, you can put it in there but it's just so soft on the bottom. See how squishy it is? So I just, I would not use it for that purpose. This is a gorgeous bag. I've used it like crazy. And this is one of my favorite bags. I love Gucci and I keep seeing um, Instagrammers and YouTubers saying they're so sick of this GG logo and, and the belt, they're tired of seeing it and it's you know not the it bag anymore. Well, I don't care. I mean, I love it. I love Gucci. Actually, Louis Vuitton, Gucci are two of my favorite brands. I mean, I love Fendi too. I love it all. <laughs> but I love Gucci. I And I love the aged gold hardware. I love this logo. And, you know, I've seen some people say that they're selling their bag because there have been so many of them and they were, you know, tired of seeing them. That just makes me love mine all the more because I love to be different. I love this bag. I feel like this isn't a forever bag. Actually, you guys, I'm gonna tell you something. All of my bags are forever bags. I sold three bags last year, and I regret selling my Neverfull GM. It was the older style. I don't know why I sold it, but I did. I thought I was gonna sell it and repurchase the new one with the pouch, but I really regret that. The other two I don't regret, but at the same time, uh, I made pretty good money, but it didn't really matter. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't have to sell bags to buy another bag, but, and for that reason, I don't see the sense to sell my bags. I'm not going to sell any more bags. Uh, if I don't use them, and I'm trying to use the ones that I use least, if I don't use them, I will give them to my daughter. I will give them to my sister, my daughter-in-law, save them for my granddaughters. I, if I have a closet full of bags to pass down to them, so be it. I'm not getting rid of any more bags. So that's my rant about that. But this bag is beautiful. So I don't care if it's the it bag or not. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I definitely would love to have another one. Like I love it in red. I love that light, um, taupe color that's kind of a rose color or pink they call it but this is a beautiful bag I love it but I wouldn't really want to use it as a laptop carrier or to put my iPad in even though it does fit I just would not because of the softness of the leather but if you keep an organizer in there and you keep it stuffed I mean I've had this bag a couple years and look at it it's immaculate this is a beautiful bag in my book it bag or not, I love it. If you guys have any questions about any of these gorgeous bags that I showed you and I didn't cover something that you would like to know, just drop me a comment below. And I just wanted to say, this year I have seen on YouTube that so many YouTubers are saying they're doing a no buy or low buy year. Well, I'm not gonna commit to anything like that, but I am trying to fill in some gaps with my bag wardrobe, so to speak. I do have some gaps. I want to be careful of my purchases this year and really think them through. And so that's where I'm at right now. And if you guys watch or follow me, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted the most gorgeous 
Hermes Garden Party in Royal Blue. You guys, I had it in the cart and I almost pulled the trigger and I really want that bag so bad, but you know, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like the right time. I don't just, you know, uh, buy everything that I want, of course. Most of us don't, but I really would love that because, you know, I have the Amazon dupe garden party bag and you guys, I have used that so much and I bought it because I wanted to see if I would use it that much because I thought a tote with a top handle, I mean, it does go over my shoulder, but it's not really a shoulder bag, but I've used it so much. I know that I would love a garden party and Hermes garden party. So that is on my list, but you know, I can wait. And you know, I said I wanted a jumbo last year. I don't want it anymore. I tried it on and I mean, I didn't think it felt that heavy. Of course, I didn't have all my things in it, but the reason is because I'm only five foot three. Just with the strap, I mean, it literally went like almost down to my knees. Now, I don't like that look, of course. And then I feel like I would be, um, I would have to always wear it doubled up, which is a really pretty look, but I just, I don't know. I don't have the desire for that bag. I told you guys, I changed my mind with the wind about what I want. So that's another reason I'm really just trying to fill in some gaps. I gave my daughter my um, Neverfull GM in, in the Demier Azure. So I really do need another travel bag. So I'm looking at the on the go. But then again, I know that it's coming out in the MM size or it already has, but it's not on the website. I don't know. I just don't really know what I want there, but I'm going to try to fill in some gaps. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do an updated wish list very, very soon. I think it's already changed significantly. I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I will link the my Amazon garden party bag below because you guys it is a fabulous bag if you're considering the Hermes garden party you might want to carry this bag for a while to make sure like I did because now I know I really want it but it's a fabulous bag the Amazon bag is fabulous and I've loved it so much so that's all I have for you guys today if you are not following me on Instagram be sure and follow me Yota Style Lux leave a comment or any kind of uh, video that you would like to see me do in the future, just let me know and I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.